So today I'm at USI Ultimate Sports Institute in Weston, Florida, where I have been training my whole competitive career. Um, I love this gym, it's so amazing. Um, and I came here uh, to do a posing session with one of my long-term clients who is getting ready to compete at nationals. Before you go off on stage, um, you want to make sure that your mind is completely clear of everything. You want to be able to go out there and have fun and enjoy your routine, enjoy the crowd, and you're performing. To me, at least, that, that's what it is. It's a performance and you want to be able to have amazing energy. You want to project that confidence that you have and show all of your hard work. You got it. You got it. Now, you, you have the poses. You have to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Just know that you, you are, we've been working together for a long time. You know I will tell you if there's something wrong or if you're not doing something that, you know, I think should be, t I'm going to, I'm going to speak my mind and you know that. So, I know you're super hard on yourself, but this is a time where you have to let go a little bit. Okay. You don't want to go out there and think about, oh gosh, I should have trained more or I didn't practice my posing enough or does my hair look bad? You want nothing on your mind. You want to go out there confident and just kill it. Like go out there like you've already won. Coaching someone to compete and competing, um, it's obviously a little bit different uh, because there are things that, you know, for me, I know some of the things that I feel have helped me be successful in the sport and so I try to teach my clients that you know everybody we're all on different levels of everything consciousness and you know experience and so sometimes they'll get it sometimes they won't and I think what's helpful is when a person has maybe danced has a dancing background or some type of performing background or something you know as opposed to someone who's never been on stage and is super shy um, that's a little bit different and I have to work differently with those girls um, because, you know, me, I grew up on stage. So for me, it's, it's going out there and just doing what I love. But I have to understand that for some women, um, it's, it's a scary thing. So changing the way that I would approach it personally and I guess putting myself in that person's shoes but let's do it softer. So same, your legs are good, but let's not do this. So everything, I want you to think about maybe like you're trying, cause what I see that you you do a lot is like it's a lot of like, so let's try to do the opposite of that. So, cause it'll change it up a lot. So bring it in, same thing. Instead of, we're gonna drag it and then gently place it. Keep that leg straight. Don't take too much of a big step. A common mistake that bikini girls do or, you know, people that competitors in general do with posing is looking at YouTube videos and finding a routine that they like. Okay, I get it. You have to start somewhere. That's a great start. However, just because you like somebody else's posing routine does not mean that that's the right posing routine for you. When it comes to posing, it's all about angles and, um, what looks best on your physique. There are a bunch of poses that I love, but there's no way that I could go out there and do those poses and win. When competitors look for a posing coach, I think it's, it's very important to find someone who actually competes or has competed and does amazing. It's very different when you have a coach who maybe you know creates these amazing physiques for the stage, but has no posing experience. Just because the coach is great at putting bodies on stage doesn't mean that they're great at creating posing routines. Um, that's my thing is I don't tell my girls what they want to hear. I tell them the truth and I think that's very important. I push them. Um, I actually incorporate life coaching into my posing sessions because a lot of times you're trying to pull that confidence out of that person and um, 
sometimes they just need a reality check or some sort of check and you have to give it to them. It's, it's posing for me is not just about here, do this step, do this, copy what I'm doing. It's about bringing that person's personality out and helping them be who they are on stage and being genuine. <laughs> that was good though, that was good. It looked good and it was so much cleaner than, than this. That was good. How did that feel? Good. Okay. <laughs> so my goal for this year is to be back on that Olympia stage. So I was gone last year because of my pregnancy I couldn't be on stage. I was there, because I'm not gonna miss it. But this year, I wanna make sure to be there better than ever, get right back in place, and finally win this show. Like, finally, I have to. It is my ultimate goal, and I am, I would say, more fired up than I've ever been.